All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. And welcome to An Academy Neat English. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button as soon as possible. Now, listen to me very, very, very carefully. One of the important videos, make sure you share this with all of your friends and like it as soon as possible. Now, see, is NEET 2024 exam going to be the toughest exam ever? Okay, whatever I speak in this particular video will be based on the data, will be based on the analysis completely, okay? Now, a lot of students come to me and they ask me this particular question, sir, my preparation is up to the mark. I'm able to get good score when it comes to the mock test. I have done so many revisions, okay? I have done this, I have done that. Everything is sorted, everything is crystal and clear. But the point is, sir, this question comes to my mind, Will this exam be toughest exam ever? And this creates some sort of anxiety. This creates some sort of depression in my mind. Sir, you please tell me what to do. And please make a video on this particular, uh, we say, title. So that each and every student get, gets to know, uh, is this exam going to be the toughest or not? So whatever I speak in this particular video will be completely based on the analysis and data that I have done personally. Make sure you watch the video till the end and you share it with your all the friends out there. Listen to me very carefully. First and the foremost thing is let's talk about the registrations because registrations, number of registrations are directly proportional to the, is directly proportional to the difficulty level. Because if the number of registrations increase, we say competition increases. So we say difficulty level increases as simple as that. Okay. Now, if we talk about, let's suppose, NEET 2021. So in 2021, 16 lakh students appeared for the NEET 2021 exam. Okay, and then in the next year, we saw 90 lakh students appeared in NEET 2022. So basically, there was 3 lakh students increased in the registrations. Okay, and when it comes to basically NEET 2023, we say, sir, it was 21 lakh students appeared in NEET 2023. Sir, what, up, what about the NEET 2024? We are expecting 23 to 24 lakh students will appear in NEET 2024. As the number of registrations will increase, we say competition rises. So we say difficulty level rises. Okay, because because then only then only this this is uh, then only uh, basically this is possible. Now listen to me very carefully over here, sir. Let's talk about the overall difficulty level in this particular case. See, when it comes to the overall difficulty level, let's talk about sir 2023. Sir, when it comes to the 2023, we say the difficulty level was moderate, okay? We say out of three, out of three, if we say overall difficulty level, it was 1.34. Like I have made the graph over here, you can see clearly, sir, when it comes to physics, it was 1.36 was the difficulty level out of three in physics. And chemistry, when it comes to chemistry, sir, it was 1.38 was its difficulty level out of three. And in botany, it was 1.28. And in zoology, it was 1.32. So overall difficulty level out of three, it was, we say, 1.34. And that is, we say, moderately difficult. Okay, it was moderate. Now, when it comes to basically the difficulty level of 2022 exam, NEET 2022, it was basically moderate. Okay, it was not that difficult. It was not that easy. So we say overall difficulty level, it was 1.69 out of 3 over here also. Okay, and, and when it comes to this one, overall difficulty level in this one, we say, sir, in physics, it is 1.66. In chemistry, it is 1.92. And in botany, it was 1.58. And over here, in uh, we say zoology it was 1.60 and in this year NEET 2022 we know that sir it chemistry was a bit difficult that's why we say 1.92 over here and overall difficulty level was 1.69 and this was also moderate in this particular case out of three if we talk about over here okay this is the analysis that I'm showing you over here and when it comes to the NEET 2021 it was also moderate not easy not difficult it was moderate and overall difficulty level over here was also 1.49 out of three now, sir, when it comes to the NEET 2020 exam, so in NEET 2020 exam, we know, sir, it was easy, okay? Overall difficulty level was only 1.17 out of 3. And, and, and now, what about NEET 2024? Sir, as registrations have increased, so according to that analysis, or if we see from the past three years analysis, 2022, 2023, and we say 2020, 2021, 
in these three years it was moderate 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 so this year also we are expecting it will be from moderate to difficult it will not be easy because previously the exam was easy only in 2020 because at that point of time the registrations were less so that's why the paper was a bit easy but from 2021 onwards it has been moderate okay now this year if there are we say 23 to 24 lakh registrations so we are expecting between moderate to difficult most probably it will be bit difficult okay not that difficult we say bit difficult only from moderate to difficult okay so this is the analysis for this one now one more important question that people say that is nothing but role of ncrt in need 2024 exam so what will be the role of ncrt over here we know sir ncrt is the book ncrt is the gold mine for need okay everybody knows it and previously we have seen 80 to 90 percent questions used to directly come from ncrt we know it okay all the questions used to come directly from ncrt that's why we say in case of biology you are supposed to read line by line you are supposed to learn line by line you have to remember every single line how teacher asks you question you should know that from ncrt and in organic chemistry in inorganic chemistry we say completely follow your ncrt we know that but but this year we are saying this is the rough estimate i'm saying over here we say if the difficulty level increases where will the difficulty level in where where can they exactly increase the difficulty level see we say 70 to 75 questions percent questions will be directly from the ncrt like before okay previously it was previously it was how much 80 to 90 percent now it will be 70 to 75 percent sir rest of the 25 percent to 35 percent will be deep conceptual understanding questions okay so only those percent of students should be able to solve this these questions who are, whose concepts are clear let's suppose if we are talking about the physics there are two categories of people one category is they just remember the formula and apply the formula and get the answer the next category of the people is they know the concept also they have learned the concept properly with the teacher now if you ask them conceptual question and if you if you make the calculations bit tougher they would be able to they will be able to solve those questions also this is the difference between these two categories of students so that's why we say you have to learn properly each and every single concept if you are going through we say even through the important chapters only make sure you follow you learn those chapters with your heart each and every concept should be crystal and clear okay it's not like you just only remember the formula and directly you'll apply over there no if 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 they mess with your mind if 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 questioner basically asks the question which messes with your mind you won't be able to solve those questions that's why we say you have to be very sharp in this need 2024 now next is what pattern of questions they can ask when it comes to the need 2024 sir first of all we know mcqs this is what we call the single correct and multiple correct single can be correct multiple uh, can be correct okay then you have statement based okay this also you know then you have a and reason lot of people also basically are not able to solve they lag over here in this a and reason also so what you are supposed to do over here i request or i recommend each and every student to basically solo as many as questions possible when it comes to the assertion and reasoning okay then only the more you practice the more you would be able to solve this assertion and reasoning okay so you'll not lose the number in your neat exam also and then you have basically matching questions you'll be giving one uh, two three uh, you, one column and another column you just have to match it that's it okay and then you have fill in the blanks and true false this also you know now what are the question patterns that we are expecting okay these are not the new we are expecting these question patterns in the need 2024 okay this is what we call the text-based questions sir what is the text-based question you will be given sort of some sort of text over here you can see this some sort of text and you'll be basically given over here these options so you have to read this text and on the basis of this only you have to mark the correct option over here okay so you can you, you basically read this particular example over here you'll get to understand what sort of question that's why we say if you learn when it comes to the biology chemistry with your heart each and every single concept is crystal and clear then whatever the pattern of questions they ask you will be 100% able to solve those questions that's for sure there is no doubt in that and 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 we say over here the next is a data interpretation questions this we are expecting from the biology this is all the expectations i am saying okay so so we say over here you'll be given some sort of okay data over here in this case you have to analyze this data and accordingly you have to mark the your answer 
So you can see this particular example over here. You can read it and you will get the idea what I am trying to say in this particular case. Okay. You can read it over here. So basically this was all about it. Thank you so much and make sure you share this video with all your friends out there. You like this video. Okay. And, and we are following the uh, we are basically we have started the series on our YouTube that is one shot series we are basically starting each and every single chapter from the scratch and we show every single question pattern problem patterns over there next I'll be starting the chapter over there that is EMI electromagnetic induction whatever the questions I'll be starting from the scratch if you have not studied this chapter before I'll be basically starting from the scratch so this was make sure you like this session also you share it with your friends this was all and comment down below okay let me know on what topic you need the video I'll make on that also okay so thank you so much this was all about it take care and bye bye